Today we're going to talk about all of Key's irrational fears. Oh, yeah. We are. We're going to talk about all the things that you're scared of. That you shouldn't be. Because they're not that scary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're not that scary. A, a couple of them maybe are. But we'll get to that. So we'll start with the things that he was scared of as a puppy and has grown out of because he realised that they weren't really that scary after all. Including black bin bags. <laughs> Whenever you saw a bin bag in someone's garden, you didn't like it because it moved. <laughs> didn't you? You were scared of bin bags. But you got over that pretty quickly. Yeah, you did. He had a minor fear of feathers when he was tiny. <laughs> he was a little bit scared of feathers, but then he used to collect them, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, he did. He was scared of a fire hydrant the first time he saw one. There is only ever one, we've, we've only ever seen one though, because it was at my university. And we don't normally have fire hydrants around in the UK. He was scared of high visibility jackets on, on road workers. You were. You were scared of high vis jackets. I don't know if you struggled to see them properly. <laughs> but you got over it. You didn't. You weren't scared of it for too long. Yeah. So he's been scared of things that moved, but that he wasn't expecting to move. So a roll of wrapping paper sitting on top of his crate when he was little that moved, and he, <laughs> he really wasn't sure about that. You huffed at the wrapping paper. You did. You showed it who's boss. <laughs> One fear that he still kind of has, not too much, not as badly as when he was younger, is a fear of flatbed trailers. Even ones that aren't moving and are parked in gardens. I think the fear started though with moving ones, so when they were driving past and they were clattering and clacking and making all these noises, that was where the fear started. Um, and he remembered what they looked like, so when he saw them parked, not even attached to a vehicle, he was scared of them. <coughs> you were. You're not so bad now, are you? <coughs> You've gotten over it a bit, haven't you? <coughs> Big brave boy, aren't you? <laughs> you are. So one of the fears that he definitely still has is the sound of clicking, clacking or banging, popping. Any loud sounds like that, he's he's fine with fireworks and he's fine with thunder, but um, it's a certain tone of clicky clacky sounds that he doesn't like, which I discovered when I was opening my GoPro case uh, and closing it. It makes a quite a loud click sound and he doesn't like it. So I, I tried to limit how often he is <laughs> sounds like that, whilst at the same time trying to desensitise him to it, but it's very difficult. He just tends to leave the room if he hears it, don't, don't you? <coughs> yeah, you don't like loud bangy sounds, do you? No. But you're okay, you're okay with fireworks and thunder, aren't you? You've been outside with them. Yeah, you're really brave and they don't bother you. But little things like uh, a, a bubble popping or some bits of wood clacking together, you don't like it, do you? No, you don't. The one fear he has which isn't irrational is the fear of wasps. Because when he was two years old, he was stung by one in the crook of his arm. <laughs> no, no. Can you move your head, please? He was stung here. <laughs> Look up, Key! Look up, here. Yeah. He was stung here. <laughs> Just in his shoulder there. So whenever he hears a buzz now, he quickly checks his armpit to make sure that there isn't a wasp there. You don't like the spicy flies? No. You're a little bit paranoid about them. You hear a buzz and you check your armpit. Yeah, you do. But he can tell the difference between wasps and bees. I don't know if he can smell the difference or if they look different to him. Oh dear, <laughs> I saw that sneeze coming. That's a big sneeze, wasn't it? Maybe they sound different. But he doesn't attack bees. He'll sniff them right up to his little snoot. And he doesn't try and get them. But if a wasp comes by, he will try and catch it. He's ended up being stung in the mouth because he tried to catch a wasp. You tried to bite the wasps before they can bite you, don't you? 
<laughs> you want to get them before they can get you. Uh. Yeah, but you shouldn't, because they always get you. So if we ask you who his arch nemesis is, it's not a cat, it's not a squirrel, it's a wasp. It's the spicy flies, isn't it, Key? They're your enemy. <laughs> Wasps are. It's spicy flies. <laughs> yeah. You're not scared of many things, are you? <laughs> no. You're a big brave boy. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're a big brave boy. <laughs> <laughs>